Impressions, the podcast, the teenage experience. Welcome to Expressions, the podcast. I'm Motola. I'm Comfort. I'm Praise. Today we are going to be talking about parent teen relationship. What are the things that can affect the teenager? What are the things that can help a teenager? What can make a teenager successful? What are the things that can make a teenager mean entire sorrow? And the solutions. Um, we'll also be talking about the ways many parents have damaged their children down the road. parents can damage and also be arranged in yes. teenagers' life. Yeah, because there is solution to everything. Yeah. And um, one thing that I think most parents put their children through is emotional trauma. Ranging from using abusive words or allowing their children to, them, to see them fight in different ways. By so doing, we leave the teenagers to grow up as dysfunctional adults. Yeah, we are right about that. I think that's the first one. That's the yeah. first one. I think as parents, it's not always advisable to just shout at your teenage girl or boy. It's it hurts a lot. Like someone like me, I don't like people shouting at them. It's also because they're anxious. Makes them actually anxious. I shall know about that. It actually, it's, actually nobody's actually always happy when they shout at you, and I think we should actually know, like, we should be friends with teenagers. It reduces your self esteem. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right. Reduce and your parents esteem. should allow their child to express themselves. So, yeah. It's really, it's really, really, really very important. Like the child that acts, uh, told uh, her parents that you know we're going to school again. The parents will ask, why why are you not going? Why do you just study the child that you're not going to school? They don't ask and that's sudden the child's death. The child just died. It was it was our uh, God. Parents should try their best to allow their children to really express themselves. It's very very important. Yeah. Another thing I think is very important to not teaching your children sex education. Yes, yes, you are right about you. that. They, they believe like they are still too young to be learning. <laughs> and they don't know that these things, if you don't teach us at all, we will learn it from school. Yeah. And you also know that they have daddy children. <laughs> many, many children. And you also know that some parents at the age of 15 will be telling their children, ah, uh, if uh, it's time for you to bring him more new, yeah. you cannot just be eating my food. As in all sorts yeah, like true. that. So they don't understand what you want to see. And again, some children do not think money. of other things. And don't go into prostitution. And even on top, some parents, if they say that they want to treat, teach their children sex education, there is this wrong sex education that even if a boy touches you, if a boy touches you, you are pregnant. pregnant. <laughs> if a boy can see your face like this, they are pregnant. You know that is just a way of scaring them. There are some children that don't listen. They, you not tell them about that. There are some children that their head is another thing. You understand? I'm not being there for them. Actually, I think I blame them for I that. Actually I actually blame them. Yeah. For that. They should go this deep. Nigeria. I go they should deep. go deep. I mean, what are you telling me? <laughs> they should go deep. They just have to put that. Deep. They have to make them scared. You know, there are some children. I if not tell them. Scared, that I did not tell you everything details. They will tell you. There are some children that are not like that. What are you they telling me? Tell, they, they should tell their teenager that it's not only by touching physically that they can have sex. That they will have sex. Right. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying there are some children that are not like that. that. There are some children that are not like that. I actually think it is wrong. Consequence, like you are saying it like, like consistently. The child is going to understand what you are saying. Like you are saying it consistently. Yeah. Okay, this is you. It's not like if you touch a boy or you see a boy and then the child will not start running away from boys. Like, no, 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 that was the mentality I had. I was like, ah, my mother already said, now you can touch your pregnant. You are pregnant. Yeah, pregnant. That's one of those days, like, I How was actually saying with one of my friends, and she was just like, ah, ah, how would they tell you something like that? And you so you will believe it straight up. <laughs> and, like, if you don't advise your children on these things, another person would help you advise them. Yeah, and it will even be it. worse than what you're supposed to say. They will advise it. the child, they will tell the child details to details how it will happen. Yeah. And again, yeah, someone can take advantage of their ignorance. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Like, right. uh, your mommy said I should not touch you. Okay, not your body, I don't touch you. <laughs> <laughs> your mommy said I should not touch your body. Yeah, <laughs> the, body the whole body now. It's <laughs> including everything, the whole body. It's all the body. 
So, as a parent, I actually think you should give room for your parents, for your oh. children, for your teenagers to be able to express themselves. Yes. Express yes. themselves in what aspects. Okay, mommy, this boy is disturbing me. Don't be the type of parent that. He's touching me. Don't way. be the type of parent that. Come keep quiet to talk to me. And what happened? He's touching you. Can't you? Can't you slap him? They know how to show. Keep quiet. Don't don't like, be like a shiny type of parent, a snobbish type of parent. Yes. That your children will even, don't be too harsh to your children. Don't be yeah. the essence that they want to be able to open up to you. Yes. Open up in what way? Like, okay, mom, I'm having a problem. This is it. I don't know. This boy is always touching me, and I think I like him too. Okay, this is how you are going to do it. Don't say, don't do this, don't do that. Don't do but that. for parents, ha. <laughs> you like him. Yes. Most parents, yes. Most parents, they they know that understand. feelings end, end up in sex. I don't understand. I don't understand. How will feelings end up in? I don't understand. I think it's actually high time like we have to start educating our parents. Okay, well, this is it. This is how it works. It's not like when I say I like this person, it means that okay, the two of us want to have sex and I will get pregnant. It does not mean like that. We have to like come you guys have to come down to our stage that okay, oh, this is the mentality that it is outside now. I have to train my child to like not think like every other person. Because yeah. they are not every other person, you're a specific person. And that will help them. Like it's not like you actually want your children to be wayward or something. Like you telling them the right thing is not making them wayward. It's just making them understand what it really is. Yes. Not that you are making them because your parents now are just saying that ah like I think your kid is not supposed to be like something like that. And again, I want to say this is like it's not also good for a parent to over pamper pamper your child. Mm. Mm. People ask me what say in what way. Ah, mommy, I saw my classmates today. I said, Thank God in the party we went for. How oh God, the girl she put on fine girl and it was pink color. The shoe okay, and you know, it's Mommy, I want to buy a pink. It should be my own self should be more beautiful than that girl. Oh, you want like, like, oh, okay, okay baby, you come on, you, you will get it. You know, you want. And again, when uh, there is no more no money, there's nothing. You know, your child wants to go to an yeah, expense, another way. She, she wants to see you get it. Okay, she wants to go to another way to get that thing. It's not good to over pump her the child. So I'm just ah, at the age of five, girl, what's the android one? I'm just going to use that uh, language. You are like giving the child Android. Ah, come on, uh, you should be pressing phone, as in, no technology. Technology, ah, technology. What are we teaching our children no, now? Like, I don't think they are like positive effect of technology yes, that is and negative. negative. Yes, yes, I don't think we should actually go into negative today. There will be a day that will actually talk about like technology yes. and like, we'll go deep into technology. Technology has helped people's life and it has actually done like the way around for mm -hmm. people. A child of like, what do you expect a child of 15 years old? Like, okay, 15 years, okay, too much. 10 years old, to do with an Android phone. <laughs> You've opened WhatsApp for this child. Facebook. This child has Facebook, Instagram Twitter account, account. Twitter accounts. What did you want this child to work? There are some things that even as a parent, you are not watching and these yes, children, children actually know more than, than you. Yeah. Like, there are some children <laughs> that you will, give, you will give phone like this, where you cannot go, where I cannot go to on this phone. A five-year-old child will go, go more than they. Yes. Like, and I'm just like, what are we teaching our children nowadays? I'm actually not saying we should not use phone, no. Of course. Because... Yeah, in the 21st century. Yes, like, like, yeah. yeah, in the civilized world. Like, I'm not saying we should not use phone, but like, it should not be more, like, it should not be more than your studies. Not should be more than your students. There are some children that if they did not press phone for a <laughs> day, for a day, it will be as if they did not take water. <laughs> yeah. It will be as if they did not take water. It should not be like that. They should be like, like it's a tense place. Okay, this is where I have to use phone to. Okay, today I have this press phone for like. And there's something about pressing phone. You will press phone for two hours. You will not know you have pressed phone yeah, for two hours. Sure, but if it's but you will carry it book. <laughs> it's another problem. Like, Ten minutes. Yeah, you are head is sleeping. I think. <laughs> I think those are the ways that parents should watch out for. And okay. I want to talk more on that psychological trauma. Like, uh, you see husband and wife, in the presence of the, ch uh, the, of the children, they will be beating themselves. The husband will carry it. And the children are there looking at you. Know, what do you teach them? Yes, they are not parents that will say, Do what I tell you, don't do what I'm doing. Yes, and I think as teenagers, we learn faster with what we see and yes. what we yes. see people yeah, doing, yeah, what yeah, we hear yes. people saying. We learn faster than that, and what they tell us to do. Okay, now your parents are telling you not to, not to have 
okay your parents are telling you not to touch phone too much not to play with phones too much and your mom is always on phone <laughs> she, she wants, always she like wants to take you. a yeah. bit okay instagram people i'm already <laughs> in my bedroom now how to take my and they're telling you not to use phone obviously there's a problem with you but oh see i don't know i don't really understand that one but like it's just trying to say that is what the child the parent is doing now the child even do more than yes, what the child right. what the parent is doing yeah. that's and sometimes it's not easy to correct a uh, social student because you tell mommy you also what they are doing yeah, now yeah, yeah. Abby, yeah, yeah. it's what not easy to correct them so you just have to stop doing all this there are some parents they are single mothers they have divorced what do you expect your children to, to do no i actually think in that case in that single mother case there are some children that they are actually from a single parent and if you see them you will yeah. actually not know they are from a single parent because like the way the woman will have actually trained them you they would she would tell them the mistake i make i don't, don't want to make it and if you have already said that okay what this woman is doing is not paying her would you actually want okay she's the one paying the school fees she's, she's the one going through everything, doing everything she's the one going through everything. Yeah. would you actually want to be into something like that only if you are stupid that's when you would i'm not supposed to use that word like that only when you are like that that you actually want to do something that is very very stupid like that yeah so, um something um i think many parents have also done to their children is making them go through physical trauma like the art of physically beating your children mercilessly. Yes, yes. Right. there are some children that will come to four and you would be like, ah, I have showed this before your parents. <laughs> they would beat, actually, you know, people that are light, when they beat them, yes, you, you will see you that definitely definitely see there's not how you will see it. You will not see this man do it. Ah, and I'll be like, ah. I didn't know that bitch you like this. So and what and did you do? Like? Sure something it, something most parents they don't, they don't know is that. They are making those children to be more rebellious. Yes. Yes. And that's the yes. yes. I know that the chance to talk to like this particular guy in my class, like his friends are always beating me, like he's like, if you use came for me, you cannot pay me. The child will beat this boy and this boy is always like I did do flog him. Like this boy is used to like collecting cane every day. He's telling me now that it's Koboko that is going to beat him. Uh, they have already used belts, belts that should be be they have already and when you actually beat this child, it's something that is not paying him any longer. You are the one that will feel the pain. Yeah, <laughs> that is it. You are the one that will not be buying Panadol. You are the one that will feel most of the pain. Yes. The child is not really, really feeling the pain. Like, there are some ways that you can actually correct your child. Yes. And yes. Things, yes. And the child will actually yes. correct. The child will actually be corrected. And, like, nothing is losing. You are actually gaining something. Like, mm. okay, now, you have already know that this child, though. If I say that, no food <laughs> for today. <laughs> If you do not clear your room, this child is going to do the room. <laughs> and as as the time that they, they like food very well. You are not saying that, okay. If you do not clear that room, a child that does not like food, you are not saying that, okay. If you do not clear that room, I will not give you my food. How do you expect me to do this? I don't like what you are telling me to do. And, okay, I will say that if you do not clear the room, I am not going to give you food. I have done it already. You are not saying that, okay, now that you have cleared the room, go and wash the toilet also before I give you. I think that's like <laughs> over punishment because I've already done what you said I should do. And parents actually used to that stuff. When they've seen your weakness, that's when they've not started. Oh, yeah, yeah, parents yeah. That if I don't collect money to school, I'll be angry with them. And I'll be like, eh, if you don't watch place today, you're not collecting money to school. And I'm always like, okay, I don't collect money to school today. <laughs> That, it, because of that stuff, when I get home in the afternoon, I'm supposed to watch that place. I will not watch that. She better not collect money to school tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> she said I not collect money to school. Did I die? I did not die. <laughs> so you don't even collect money to school tomorrow again. When you are tired, you will give me the money. And actually, don't think things like that will actually help a child's life. Yes. Once you see that, okay. You correct them. Yes. Yeah. In love, you should yeah. correct them. Love is the key. Yeah. Love is the key. Anything you are doing, and you know that if they actually do this thing to me as a parent, I will not be happy with it. As soon as I was like, put yourself in our shoes, as soon as I was this age, if you do this thing to me, would it actually make sense? Yes. Would you, like, a child is already prepared for a birthday party, and you're like, because you did not clean the can, the toilet, you're not going. Like, you're not going. Fun, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, hey, <laughs> mommy, if I say that you're not going for this wedding, you're going to, will you be happy with me? <laughs> and the child is already, ah, okay, I'll miss my friend there, I'll miss this there, I'll miss that there, and then, like, I'm not going. Actually, it does not make sense. I think we should actually provide a solution to that. Parents should try as much as possible to be considerate about their children's happiness. Happiness is the key. Love is the key. We should treat our children in love. And treat again, them with um, love. parents sending their children to go out there. Uh, Top of the used to buy cigarettes. cigarettes and that one yeah. means 
Friends show. Mm-hmm. What you're telling them to go and do. And that's what you're going to do. Yes. yes. So they they they'll be wanting to. <laughs> what are you buying? Yes. Let me also have a taste of it. What is sweet in this thing? What are you going to And from that, first day of tasting it, you have become expert. Because you want to repeat it. They'll be adding that you. Yes, you're right. And again, some parents, there are some parents that if they are pregnant with their child, they are. They cannot stop stop smoking. So it will be drinking. You know why? Why you want to child. give birth to the child? Now the child will be like. Another right. thing I think most parents are not doing right is this pre- preference of a thing. Yeah, like, I like this child more than yeah. this child. Yes. That is actually it's what happened wrong. to. Let's go into the Bible to Joseph. That was what it was. His father that was actually his main problem. His father liked him according to the Bible. His father liked him more than all. His oh, brothers, because yeah. the Bible made us understand that he bought him a particular coat, like yes, different type of coat, different and colors. like his brothers were not happy with it. Yes. Once you actually, if he was, start, is, is his father abused that he trained? That he trained yes, his, his brothers. Brother, brother, Once yeah, you right. start preferring a child to the other, you are already making him enemy. You are mm-hmm. making him enemies to people. People, people, people yeah. are already actually hating him already because you are the one that started it. They would even okay now. You said you are telling me now that you like my brother more than me. <laughs> what would I feel? How would I feel to my brother? Maybe she even gonna die. Maybe she's going to like me. That was actually yeah. must be to come to your head first. Yeah. Okay, you bought something for everybody now. You know, you bought my brother's own. You bought three for him. You bought one for me. What is coming to my head? What is coming to my head? My mommy likes my brother more than me. That's what's coming to my head. And actually, you don't think things like that are supposed to be. You have to love them in an equal way. Yeah. That like okay. If I buy shoe for this one today, to and I don't it. have, I don't have more than it's, enough money. It's better you shouldn't buy it. <laughs> okay, what if I need the shoe, and she also need, she does not really need the shoe. It's better you shouldn't buy because I. Explain it. Okay, explain. this is it. I don't have enough money, you. But I promise but you, I promise you, as long as I have enough money, so I'll right. buy for you. I'll not right. buy for him again. Right. That is it. Let me understand the points. That okay, this is the point. She said. She does not have money, and as a teenager, I actually think we actually have to be considerate about our parents. Like, yes. okay, this is it. School fees now, okay, school fees. Our parents do not have money. Just pay my brother's school fees. It's not that I should not start shouting, eh, it's because he liked this some more than me. That's why he paid the school fees before me, eh. And children mentality. It's a, that, mentality that child preference or anything. It actually affects teenagers a lot. Yeah, it affects us a lot. It is normal to affect because. You are already showing more love to one person than the, the other. other. You are already showing more love. You are pampering the other one, and the second one is just like, "Mommy, I've no it. Eh, hey, what's my business? She was down <laughs> like that. What do you expect me? How would you expect me to feel? Okay, she likes me more than me. Okay, no problem. And a child like that would not want to open up to the parents. There is no oh, how. Yes. There is no how much. Because you are not even showing the child love. Why do you expect me? She doesn't care. Yeah. You actually do not care. Like I came to me to say, you know, mommy, something is happening in my class. Can you? You're just like, eh. Yeah. So what should, what I, should I, I do to that? Get yeah. out. Tomorrow, when I will have a bigger problem, I will not be able to come and meet you. Yeah. Because I know you because will not solve it. Me. You will just, even if I know that, even if you want to solve it, but the first impression you give me the first time will actually not want me to come back to you. you That's it. Even want to talk to my mommy, it will make them. It will make them scared. That scared of them. If I want to talk to me and she's giving me all this attitude. Ah, wow, you'll be seeing you tomorrow. Mm-hmm. You ask me the next time that what do you want to say? I'll tell you I don't have anything to say. Again. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, right. Don't worry, I don't have anything to say again. I think parents should try as much as possible to try understanding their yeah. teenagers. And create time for your teenagers. Yeah, that's see, really in right. a family setting, what I think they should be having, they are supposed to be having team talks. Like call your children, okay, what's going on with you? But I don't think you? I don't think like someone like me, I don't like opening up at the front of my brothers. Like I prefer it being okay. Yeah, you can also private. Actually, this yeah, private, like, private, private discussion, discussion. Yeah, private discussion. Private yeah. discussion. Okay, this is it. On Monday is for Titi. On Tuesday is for, for Tola. On Wednesday is for Comfort. On Thursday is for Praise. You've given this time like that. Okay, this is the time bracket from this time to this time. Yeah. And I actually think that one concept would not even help. Cause okay, what if now on Monday is my day of talking to mommy, and on Wednesday I have a problem. <laughs> I have yes. a problem. It's disadvantage. I think we should we should be free at all times. It's not that you should have like a teenage talk. A teenage talk will actually also help, but like you should make them understand that it is not only this period you can talk yeah, to. You can talk to you can talk to, 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 to anytime. That's why I like my mom. 
If they have a but you know that I, I cannot sleep. But you know I'll, that something about this thing talk so I think is that most parents are always busy. Yes. So you are busy. I think your children are supposed to be your first project, not even your work. Some parents they like their first priority is their job. They don't care what happens to their children. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Child so my is, family now. If it's in the morning, okay, dad is going to work. Mom is going to work. If it's in the morning, like as early as six o'clock. If I have anything, I want to save you. Them. Click on just tell them. Tell them, and that is settled. That's yeah. it. I think as a parent, as a child, as especially a mother, as a mother, you actually have to give it a lot of times because you don't expect me as a girl to go and meet my daddy. Okay, daddy. I have my extra crap yesterday. But do you know that there are some? It. I think as a mother, you have to create more than just that. Some parent that approaches. actually does not have time, but with the help of the house girl, if you if your child comes to me to mommy, please, and I have something to tell you. They will tell you, come with the house girl, come. I don't have time. But those things make sense. House girl has ruined a lot of lives. Yes. House girl has ruined a lot of lives. That means you are dividing your love. That's it. You are dividing the love automatically because the the child, the teenage. Who, who, who grew up to love the house help than the parents. That is very right. That's what I'm trying to say. That is when the house help is giving them like an LD advice. You know, like, okay, <laughs> like taking cigarettes. And you want to go and tell your mom, and your mom is like, go and talk to the house help. And the house help is someone who takes cigarettes. <laughs> Obviously, you will give you to taste out of it. I think we should create time to for our teenagers, our teenagers. Time at this age, very, very, very important. Very at this important. age, at like this crucial. age, there are some things you can't even tell your friends. Like you have a best friend, but you can actually not tell them everything. There are some things you have to like call your parents and be like, okay, mommy, I have this problem. There's something about my mom. If I have a problem and I can't sleep at the middle of the night. I will just wake up and go and wake my mommy up. Mm -hmm. mommy up. Because I know that there's no how you want to be tired. You have to create time for me. That's how it's supposed to be. There are some parents that I was always telling my classmates that stuff that like if I cannot sleep, I can just go and miss my mommy and tell her what happened, why I can't sleep. And a girl just answered me and she was like, I didn't I dare not go and wake my mommy up my mommy up. She would kill me. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna wake up at the middle of the night. That's the best time she has to talk to. And I think at the middle of the night where there's like there's no distraction, there's no that they want to send you work, there's no that your brothers are dead are listening to what you're yeah, saying. Yeah. I think that's the best time to talk to your teenager. Like but we have to actually be considerate. Teenagers also have to be considerate. You know your parents are people who wake up early to work. It's not that like you should be waking them up around <laughs> four o'clock and you want to talk to them. You should not need to that is the, the, if what you want to talk is very urgent. Very urgent, and very, very and important. Very like that every parent will that. always try to like hear what they want to say for even if they did not say something that is meaningful. meaningful yes, try to try like to understand it. that okay, this is what you want to do. Okay, if you take it through this way, it will not help you. If you take it through that way, it will not help you. If you and again, you should ask somebody to talk to. Okay, mommy and daddy is not there for me. Like now, I have a teacher in my school. I talk to her a lot. Like we really communicate. So you should have that kind of person that okay, mommy and daddy they are always busy. I should talk to this person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think the guardian counselors of schools are still yeah. functioning. Yeah. And any school which the guardian counselor is not functioning, I think we actually have to do something fast about it. Because this what we are in now, it's like parents are not really, really getting time for their children. Because I don't understand what Everybody's a teenage yes, yes, I, don't I don't understand know. what a teenage boy would want to do with twenty million now. Like making you go into the house. Yeah, we'll that's it. that's that means your parents actually do not really have time for you to talk to you. Because a parent who actually has time, a teenager who is parents actually has time to talk but, to you. But no, but it's something that struck my mind now. Is not actually everything is not the parents' fault. Yeah, yeah. So yeah there are children that have this mind has problems. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This are uh, age. It's the age of okay. This person is doing this. That person is doing that. Let me also try it. It's not everything people are doing. There are some things that people are doing and they are not even happy with it that I'm doing it. Okay, someone who is drinking and is not really even happy with it, but is just addicted to it. And you can't even cause the addiction. And you that you are not addicted to it, you are trying to like be like him. You don't know if him going to be regretting it. How did I get myself into this? It. But all your own mind is just that uh, he's doing it and he's, uh, he's making himself happy about it. Okay, actually you have to try it too. And when you even have a parent, uh, when you have a mother who actually wants to listen to you, when you share something like that with her, she will just tell you, okay, this is how it do go, this is how it should not go. And, and another like thing that I think parents used to do that is to affect 
teenagers is that okay i studied this course <laughs> you are very right. My dream world. Yes. You have to. You have to I study, study this. this world, study. But that isn't right because uh, I had all oh, hands. There is one story I I had. The the woman was like, uh, um, uh, Sario, please, I want to discuss something with you. In our family, we only had doctor. We have nurse. We had. Oh, they, she mentioned this. She now said, please, you don't have lawyer. You have to be lawyer. Do you know what the son did? The boy. The boy went. You wrote he the collected the law. Collect, he collected the law. I came to give the uh, the mother the results and it filled with me. You not told me, mom, this is not my dream. You cannot choose. You can't okay. choose. You can't choose for them. You can't choose. Them let our teenagers choose for themselves. Yeah. Well, I think parents also have points. Yeah. You, you, yeah. Some people you have to become a musician, yeah. and they know that if you become a musician, your life will just be very, very, like to them, to parents. If you say you want to become a musician. It will actually be something very, very stupid of you. Yeah. I'm the type of person that when I said I wanted to go to science class, the teachers of my school came. Teachers of my school came to meet me. That oh, are you? I wonder. Mm-hmm. Are you sure you actually really want to go to science class? I think you should actually go to like art class and be like an actress. My dream was actually to become an actress, but my dad is always like, "Is she actually would be an actress? <laughs> what uh, did you see that they are doing? Is he all these webs and?" He wants to actually become a medical doctor, and I don't think I actually have any passion so for medical wait, doctors. So I'm trying to tell me that you're following his dreams. I'm just, I have to follow it because he's paying my school fees. My husband is like, what are you want paying? You're not following it. Do you like medical mm, doctors? You should tell actually, me. actually like things about medical. I, yeah, I like but you medical. might like it, but it's, it is not your dream. It's yeah, not my dream. Yeah. 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 So you have to tell you me. Talk what to if me. now you are you write your this? You are not good. Okay, are you good in physics, chemistry, and all this? I'm good in things like that. That's what you buy. That's why you. Sure I don't think I'm actually going to be great because yeah. I'm not really going into medical. I'm going to medical line, but not in medical. Shall there are some parents because they are let me use law. I just like law. Let me use law as an example. There are some parents that they are a lawyer and actually they already seen they already seen our law. Everything is there are some they are, they said uh, there's no money in law in this Nigeria that we are and there's no money. So when the child uh, when the child in their school they are, they are asked to go and buy uh, they, are, um, they are asked to go and buy doctor nurse all their clothes mm. so when you uh, when, uh, when they went to get it the woman I gave them a law um, the law this thing mm. the cap of it they gave them the woman was like eh carry this name from my phone right now and they're like ah, what that person go for me I cannot allow my child to be a lawyer that there's no money because of money mm. because of money can you imagine but actually I think it's actually the parents at a point it's not actually not become like uh, like a problem but, every, but what is that a child wait, grow up? but everything is not about money you have to derive happiness from what you are doing yes you're right you're you right, might be gaining there are, see, let me tell you something there are, there are a lot of people that they are doing what they want but they are not deriving happiness, happiness from me. Like prostitution, for example. Let's use that. Yeah, they are gaining money. They are gaining money. They know what they are going through. through. Yes, they are passing through so much. Now, if God asks uh, all those processes that I uh, feel like they need to amount, they will be like, hey, if you know the source of this, yeah. money, <laughs> you don't have to be for it. it. <laughs> I think we should move into the like good things a parent oh, do for us. Yeah. I think parents are actually very, 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 even if our parents don't actually have the money, they will try as much as possible to like make you happy. I noticed something about parents. If if they want you to be somewhere, they can do anything. Yes. Anything yes. just to make you happy. I noticed it about them. Like um, parents who actually just don't have sufficient money to pay your school fees will just be like, okay, just go. I know I'm serving a living God. He would perform signs and wonders. Yeah. When I was actually going to go to the school I'm going to now, my parents did not really have enough sufficient money. Like me, I was like, and oh. then they were just like, "Okay, so let's go. I know God is going to provide for you. God is going to provide for us to pay your school fees." And the parents actually are just wonderful when and it comes they are to very school. Lovely. And there's something yeah. about them, like most parents. There's something about them. 
If you say okay, I want to do something, you are going to wish you well. Yeah, wish you well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah. I wanted yeah. to start my football career, most like most people I talked to about it were like, what's this? What's this? When I talked to my friends, they were like, okay, you can do it. People are making money from it. And that's that parents that actually understand yeah. about what you want to do. There are some parents that actually don't care about their children. Whatever you want to do, just do it. Just, just, just do it. Do it. <laughs> just do it. There are some this parents that their happy. happiness, just the happiness of the children they are after. Okay, anything that is going to make my girl child happy i'm ready to do it for her and then when make my child happy i'm ready to do it for he or she i think we should actually learn to encourage our parents and learn to appreciate them the economy of nigeria is actually not really friendly and they actually most children i eat more than three times a day (laughs) (laughs) like pocket money is some people salary per month like we should learn to appreciate them parents i love them for they don't joke with us they don't joke with food. Yeah, and it's coming to understand. See, friends, friends, they prefer, they prefer, they prefer to go hungry than their children. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like my mom, you have so much to love her. Oh God, if she does not eat, she will make sure that you have eaten. Yeah. You yeah. are even satisfied. Yeah. And you are satisfied. Like, let, let her be hungry. She will make yeah. sure that you have eaten. Yeah. Like yeah. now, as I'm coming now, as I'm coming, as I'm go- I was going out, she was like, what are you going to eat? Are you going to cook in Domi? Are you going to eat the fish you fried yesterday? Are you, she was just asking me, I was saying, Mommy, Mommy, calm down, it's okay. I'm, the yes, food in me is still, but I love them for care, that. I love them for that. We love you guys. And we want to use this medium to appreciate all African parents. Everybody, yeah. we love you guys yes, all. Super good. Make us happy. Thanks for making us happy. Yeah, Thanks for making you. us. Thanks for bringing us to this world. Thanks for making us understand how great parents can be. You know, Thanks for your punishment. Thanks for your everything. Thanks for everything. We really, really love you. Love you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.